Welcome back. This is going to be another uh, little addendum to the saw section we did out in the woods. This one here is at my house next to my shed. Um, Wicked is a company, uh, as I mentioned in that in that video, Huey Man and Wicked are the two main companies that sell, uh, you know, extension saws and folding saws into the sporting goods hunting slash marketplace. And um, at the time I did that video, I didn't really have much in the line of Wicked. I had uh, one folding saw and it was a black one. It was exactly like this, except it was black. So uh, I ordered a bunch of Wicked saws just so that I could show them. And I just recently found out that Wicked got bought by Outdoor Products Innovations. Uh, they own Big Dog Tree Stands, they own Rhino Blinds, which are a very premium blind, 150 denier up to 600 denier uh, nylon exteriors, see-through stuff. Um, so they're very innovative and I know, because I'm going to give them a lot of feedback, I know they're going to come out with a lot of really cool saws in the next year or two. So, because I'm going to, I'm going to definitely push that in the agenda. But anyway, I ordered a bunch of saws from them, and they uh, they sent them to me. I uh, had a pretty discounted price, so I'm going to show them to you. Um, as mentioned before, this here is their typical folding handsaw. Comes yellow, comes black, uh, seven inch blade. Um, this one here though is a little bit different. This one, I don't know how well you can see it. This has pelvic teeth. So you can get this saw uh, with regular Sierra teeth blade, which is what I always look for is Sierra teeth. That's the best cutting saw teeth on the market, period, end of discussion. These are also Sierra teeth, but there's a big difference in the size. So this is for cutting wood. This here is a pelvic saw. This here will work phenomenal for cutting, you know, once you gut a deer and you want to cut that pelvic bone in the back. Uh, this is, that's what this is for. Works great. And I believe you can buy these blades and actually swap this blade out on a saw the same size that has regular, you know, wood teeth. So that's something that's really unique and I don't think Huey Man makes it. Huey Man's the other company. Uh, so they also have a camp saw. At the time I did that video, the only camp saws I had were these over here, and I'm going to show them to you. Now this here is a Sierra style tooth. It's actually called the Beast Blade, but it's got the same typical design of teeth as a Sierra, and it has a 10 inch blade. So this is a camp saw, and it also comes with a sheath. I cannot suggest this one enough. I mean, I would not be caught dead prepping a location without, without some form of a, of a long bladed camp saw. Now the ones I've been using, this here's a Coglins, and this is actually called a camp saw. That's the name of the saw. And as you can tell, this one's pretty old. I actually use this for opening my bags of salt for my water softener because I've found other saws that work a lot better. But this here had a 12-inch uh, blade. You can also see where I've broken a couple teeth out because in that video that I did out in the woods, I mentioned I used these for sickles. And when you use these for sickles, you'll hit little saplings and you'll bust teeth out and you'll bend over the tips of these teeth and then they won't cut very well. So this one here I just use anymore for opening bags of salt, but that's still an excellent saw because uh, they're hard to find good long bladed saws in sporting goods stores. So if you find the Coglins, that's a really good one. Now Corona, that's another great one. I mentioned this one. This is, this is probably my number one go-to saw. You're only gonna find this in a hardware store. Uh, sporting goods stores don't have access to distributors that even carry these. Uh, but this one here has a 14 inch blade, much longer blade, very aggressive teeth. And then obviously the best of the best of the best is a Silky. This is a $90 saw. So you get what you pay for. Has very aggressive teeth, 17 inch blade. So the Wicked, again, comes with a sheath, 10 inch blade, and really for, for prepping trees and stuff, cutting shooting lanes, cutting stuff going up the tree, you know, this here would definitely suffice. So I suggest anybody, if you go into your sporting goods store, 
if they don't carry wicked saws, they definitely have access through them through a sporting goods distributor because they do sell primarily to sporting goods trade. So that's a wicked pelvic saw, which also comes in a regular wood wood saw in a you know seven inch folding. And that's Wicked's camp saw. Uh, and they also make an extension saw. Very kind of unique actually. This one here, you know, I've, I've had a couple Huey Mans and I don't really care for the Huey Mans. Oh, I know what I did wrong. There we go. Had it turned upside down. So that one just slides in and then the blade locks into place with that. Let me do that over. Huey Man also makes an extension saw and it comes with it. It actually has a guard for the blade. Probably my only issue with this is it's a 10 inch blade. You know, on an extension saw, I like something with a 14 to 17 inch blade. But uh, this, this blade comes off, goes on relatively easy, locks into place, extends out to nine feet. Tubular aluminum, so you got a good extension on it, lightweight. Really nice saw. And again, that's something you can buy in a sporting goods store. And if they don't carry it, you can have them order it for you. Um, my number one go-to saw in an extension is again silky, but this is a $300 saw. That's a 17 inch blade, it's real aggressive. This will cut dang near as fast as a chainsaw. This thing is a cutting machine. That has the same blade, just has a shorter throw. It's only 10 inches versus 17, so you got a shorter power stroke because they're all on the pole. Huey Man also makes an extension saw. I, I did show this in that other video. Uh, in my opinion, Huey Man's are really cheesy. The way they work is they got this little plastic end on the end of the saw. It's just a standard little folding saw and it clips in. The extensions work great. You know, it's tubular aluminum. The stops work really, really well. But the downside, the blade's only, the blade's only seven inches long. It doesn't give you any throw. Seven inches on this versus 10 inches on a Wicked. And also Wicked has a steel to steel contact where you actually attach the saw to the pole. This here is just plastic, plastic to plastic. So if you put much pressure on this, this tubular aluminum will take a lot of pressure, a lot of torque. But you put much torque on this and you're gonna break it. Cause that's just a piece of plastic and it just slides in like that. Uh, and again, very short throw on the blade, seven inches and that, for an extension saw, that's just way too short. And Wicked also makes a really nice ratchet tool. This is the first time I've ever seen one of these, but it's very, very well made, really good steel. The one that I showed you in the video out in the woods was a Florian. Florian's been making these for a long time. Probably the only difference between these, uh, a Florian is a ratchet. So you do it two or three times to cut it to cut a branch that big, you do boom, 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 and it goes through a little bit each time and keeps biting farther. Uh, this here is just a one-time deal. This here is just, you cut it by whatever power you put on it. So you don't, it's not a ratchet. But I've cut some branches with this and uh, this thing will cut some pretty big branches. It'll cut branches as big as you can get it around and it doesn't take a lot of pull. At least, you know, it's brand new, so it's extremely sharp right now. So, uh, that's my little addendum to saws, um, basically because I got all these Wicked samples. And I don't think there's any question for the sporting goods trade, Wicked is hands down the best saws on the market. Uh, the only real competitor that they have is Huey Man, and if you're just going to get a folding saw, you know, just a standard folding saw, the Huey Man's fine, because the Huey Man's got the same exact teeth. Same kind of steel as the Wicked. 
So if you're just gonna get a seven inch folding saw, it doesn't make any difference. There's 30 companies probably that make standard folding saws and they almost all have Sierra teeth. So when you wanna get into an extension saw or you wanna get into a camp saw, something to get much, much more aggressive on your cutting with, um, you know, Wicked does make this little longer, longer bladed. They do make a lot better extension saw. Um, and I didn't even know they made the one with the, uh, you know, with the pelvic teeth. That thing's awesome. I'm definitely going to be using that. First time I've seen it. Anyway, that's it. Okay, I've brought a few camp saws over here. The long bladed sheath saws, basically. And going to give you a little bit of an example, like these little things like this, where you, what you'd use a machete for. These cut it pretty dang good. Cut that out of there really fast. So I'm gonna give you an idea. First, I'm gonna use this little cheesy HME saw, which there's no way I'd go to prep a location with an HME saw. This is an ironwood, so this is a hard tree. And you can see it's just not real aggressive teeth. Okay, now I'm gonna go the next step up now this is a Tactics. This is the same exact saw blade as a Cronin, just a different company. Come out of the same building. See how much more aggressive that cut. That's because it's a new blade. And this is the Silky. This has a little bit longer throw, longer stroke. Whoops. That's pretty fast for a tree. So the teeth, how aggressive they are, has a lot to do with how well they cut. Now we're gonna do extensions. Okay, first thing I'm gonna show is the uh, rope cutter. Because when you get out here on branches like this, it's hard to cut because the branch always moves too much. So you get out here and you slide Put the branch in the rope cutter, and you cut it. That's how quick that works. I didn't have my extension tight, so it kind of loosened a little bit there, but that's how a rope cutter works. And that's a pretty big branch. That's probably an inch, at least an inch diameter. Now, this is my little homemade one, my short one. So this is one I made out of a painter pole. Same deal though. It's fast. <laughs> Rope cutters are really awesome. Now, next we're gonna use this Corona extension saw. And it has a cheesy blade on it. It's got the uh, non-Sierra teeth, which we are gonna switch out. We have Corona blades with Sierra teeth, and that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap that out before we use it. This one's new. Come on in here, so we're gonna get it tight to the base. Ready? Okay, so this is the Corona, and this is the extension with the cheesy teeth. It just doesn't have a lot of bite to it. Okay. Kind of give you an idea. Now, the crone is going to get out of the way and let the man show it how to do this job. This here is the silky extension saw. Four swipes, and I was not in the same groove. That was a different groove. I started in a different groove than that uh, Corona was in. So, this Silky is just bad. One swipe. That's a relatively large diameter. 
I actually like using this thing because it's just bad. <laughs> Do I need to say more? <laughs> Invest in a Silky, you'll have a saw for the rest of your life. Just don't abuse the blade, because blades just to buy a replacement saw blade is like $90, but they cut. Thanks for watching another episode of Eberhard Outdoors, and please like and subscribe.